<laughs> as the weather warmed this year, coronavirus cases plummeted and life started to feel somewhat normal again. But tonight, new concerns over COVID and its Delta variant, which is starting to overwhelm hospitals from coast to coast nationwide. Healthcare professionals recorded just under 50,000 new cases of COVID. It's a number we haven't seen since early April. Deaths also on the rise. More than 500 Americans lost their battle with the coronavirus in the past 24 hours. Experts believe the uptick in transmission is tied to the fact that fewer Americans are getting vaccinated. Health officials gave 43,000 doses yesterday. That's down from more than 1 million exactly a month ago. News Nation's Jen Bezram has more from New York City, where the Delta variant accounts for more than a quarter of the state's COVID cases. Get vaccinated. As New York City plans a full school reopening without a remote learning option in the fall, the CDC announced Friday vaccinated teachers and students will no longer need to wear masks inside school buildings, even though children 12 and under are not yet eligible to receive the shot. The virus is still it's, it's mutating, and, and we need to be aware of that. But this comes as the latest city health data shows the Delta variant now accounts for 26% of citywide COVID samples tested in the last four weeks, up from 17% a week ago and 4.9% a month ago. Dr. Anthony Fauci Friday on the fast spreading and highly contagious variant. The important bottom line in all of this, Wolf, is that the efficacy against severe disease, particularly hospitalization that might lead to death in some individuals, was still really very good. Doctors say the uptick in the Delta-driven cases are mainly in the city's unvaccinated communities, and many of those are in communities of color. According to the city's COVID vaccination data by demographic, New Yorkers in the black, brown, and Hispanic communities have the lowest vaccination rates, while those in the Asian, Native American, and white communities are among the highest. Although we expected the Delta variant to become the dominant strain in the United States, this rapid rise is troubling. And something very important to keep in mind here, according to both city and state data, the overall COVID numbers are down in that Delta variant appears to be only spreading in those communities with low vaccination rates. Doctors say now is the time to get the vaccination if you haven't already done so. In Midtown Manhattan, Jennifer Bisram, News Nation.